is a giant snapping turtle. <laughs> Not as much fun as the kangaroo. Okay, yeah. I, I, didn't, I saw a show about them and they have a type of vaccine. Probably. <laughs> Top of the morning, friends and family. Uh, we're at the Slow Reptile Show. Our local show is 20 minutes down the road. I figured I should probably come check it out. We got Dan and Brandy, and they just finished. We missed their presentation, unfortunately, because we weren't able to get down here until, I think there's like two hours left in the show. But we got a little backstage access. <laughs> what, what do we got here, Pete? This is a red kangaroo. His name is Dundee. <laughs> and he's checking you out. <laughs> He's got two itchy ears. <laughs> he might give you a kiss too. Wow, that's adorable. So obviously, that, so you Did said you red, want to You said Thanks. red kangaroo. Yes, he yeah, is. Thanks. So he's gonna get big. Yeah, males can get like six feet tall. <laughs> he's like, ooh, is that a carrot? <laughs> he's got some sharp teeth. <laughs> hey, no, how many times up. you got to hang, hold a kangaroo in your life? Zero. Huh? Well, now one. Zero. Zero? <laughs> He's like, why are you talking so loud with those? Look at his big old ears. It sound like nothing. His hands are like human hands. Yeah. He's a warrior and sharp. You want to get Tito? Sharp. You want to see something extra cool? What do you cool? think about that kangaroo, T? Oh, he's heavy, I know. Do you want to pet? You can give him a pet? No. You don't want to touch the kangaroo? <laughs> are you yeah, silly? you want to pet him? This is the only chance in your life probably you're going to get to pet a kangaroo. Well, I shouldn't say you got a lot of life to live yet, but... <laughs> He was like a pillow. Feels like a pillow? Yeah. He's pretty soft, and oh they stay gosh. that soft their entire life, too. Wow. Yeah. It's a lot easier to find out how soft they are at this age, though, I bet. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. You guys look behind you. This is Tito, and he's new. <laughs> oh, I was like, the sloth? Oh, look at that little dude. I'm the sloth. Oh, my gosh. Do you want to talk about it? Tito? Uh, this is Tito, and he is an owl monkey, or more commonly known as a night monkey. This guy is just a baby. Like these guys stay uh, pretty small their entire lives. And you know, they're kind of widespread all throughout South America. And unlike you know a lot of primates, these guys are actually monogamous, meaning they'll just be the mom and the dad their entire life. And what's really cool is that they share the responsibilities. Normally with the uh, mom animals, they take care of the baby all by themselves. But with these guys, only the mom feeds them. The dad does the grooming, the transporting, everything like that. So these guys are kind of like super dads. Now, he can see in the dark, but he only sees in black and white, um, naturally. And they naturally don't have those big canines that you see on a lot of things like lemurs, chimpanzees, and things like that. He's also a frugivore. You guys know what that means? He eats primarily fruit, but he does enjoy the occasional mealworms every now and then. And this has been a big deal animal for Brandy. He's adorable. He yeah. is adorable, yeah. He might come to your hair. <laughs> <laughs> just let him, just let him cruise on you, buddy. Look how cute that thing is, dude. That is one of the most adorable little animals I think I've ever seen in my entire life. He really stinks. He is, you know, primates. <laughs> they live by their own rules. Imagine what he thinks about you. <laughs> <laughs> the monkey's after the camera. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, you know you want to focus on this camera. He's like, ooh. We're getting a good shot of the undercarriage. <laughs> he wanted to check out that little now, fuzzy I mic on top. Oh, yeah. Wow. Good feel? So, obviously, an animal like that is not going to be a, a pet for no. it. <laughs> no, I waited five years to get him from another zoo. And you were a licensed like, Yeah, so I rescue. have licenses from uh, USDA, which is federal, and then our state license, California Fish and Wildlife. Dude, I'm yeah. going to say one big benefit. I know it's a lot of work. I know what you guys do is, like, an insane amount of work and, like, just to be at the level you're at to be able to take care of and be somebody that can... Provide oh, yeah. care for these animals, but man, that's oh, got to be one on your head? that's got to be a big payoff right there. Oh yeah, yeah, this is fun. <laughs> he loves to ride around on top of people's heads in their hair. Get that nice vantage point, right? Like, I can see everything from up here. <laughs> nice cozy little head. Mo, you're getting all the cool experience right off the bat. 
<laughs> Dude, last time we came to this show, which was literally right as, like, this show slipped in as COVID was, like, taking over and shutting everything down. And this is what we did. We showed yeah. up for the show and we're like, hey, you want to come see some animals backstage? <laughs> <laughs> yep, you guys got to see the sloth, we, got to, we still have the armadillo, all the other stuff here, alligator. You guys showed the crocodiles from our yeah. alligator. We have all of our crocodilians here this time. We're doing you two know shows. What? Also, when I was at a show, a little crocodile, I think it was a crocodile, was shaking my hand. Yeah. You know what? You were shaking hands with Darth Gator. Gave you a high five, remember? Yeah. Yep, that alligator is here today, but much bigger. Would you like to see her? Yeah. Okay. Like we found out it's a girl. Uh, no, she's bigger than that now. <laughs> Darth Gator. Dude. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna put a little clip right here right now of these guys shaking hands with the alligator so we can compare <laughs> size from then to now. Yeah, it it if it shakes my hand again, I'm gonna be so surprised. So surprised? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Not the armadillo. Hey. You guys, you guys know you're lucky, right? No, I bet you no other little kids got to come behind this stage today. No. None. You guys are the only kids that got to come back here. Okay, what do you guys say to these guys? For Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I got something to say today. She's like, she's like, you told me we're coming out twice. <laughs> just, I thought we're supposed to be going home now. You hear the hissing noise? Yep. What is, does that mean that uh, she's happy to see you? I hope. <laughs> yeah, I just woke her up. She worked very, very hard for us today and she was napping. I hope she's not happy to see me so that she can eat me. <laughs> no, she wouldn't want to eat you. <laughs> she's only going to eat something maybe about the size of her head. Yeah, you're a little bit big for that alligator, dude. It'll take a much larger alligator than that. You want to help me hold her? I'm going to swap this around quick. Oh god, she's heavy. <laughs> that is a lemur. This is Watch first? out for that tail, buddy. She yeah. sounds like black and you can You can only oh. say that to alligators. You can't say that to any other girl, though, okay? Her scales are very hot. <laughs> <laughs> he, he hasn't quite learned that little nuance yet. <laughs> Betsy Mayo, why are you so fat? <laughs> <laughs> He's not as fun as Darth Vader. What do you think, Noah? I think it's awesome. Pretty cool, huh? A little bit bigger than the last time, huh? The back scales are really hard. Yeah, so those are called osteoderms, and each one of those has a little bit of bone in it. That helps protect them against predators and each other because when they're males, they actually fight for breeding territory. You want to know her favorite place to be scratched? Right there. Oh man, she seems pretty. <laughs> she definitely stopped missing. Dude. That thing, this isn't even bite. Do you think that if you went up to an alligator in the wild like this, you'd be able to do this with this, like just like this? No, I think English? I would die trying. <laughs> This just shows how much these guys have worked with this animal so that she's nice and chill like this. You can hold her and pet her and she's not going to try and take your finger off for touching her. Yeah. He's standing up in the back now. I want to see that kangaroo one more time. <laughs> um, what's in there? This is a ringtail lemur. That's probably the most dangerous animal we have back here. Really? A ringtail lemur? Most dangerous, huh? Yeah. He's, just cause, like, cause right. He's protective of me, so that's mischief. So it's the one that's been going to expos with me for... Mischief turned six this year. Yeah. Not because of the species, but because of the, the personality of that yeah. particular animal. Yeah, he's just really possessive of me, and they, you know, like, there's a dominant female, so there's always, like, one person that rules them all. And so he doesn't let anybody get close to me. Daniel can't even be on the same stage as me when I have him out. Wow, that's amazing. Oh my gosh, that is but the Dundee most adorable is thing ever. Do you want to hold him? Uh, I really do. Okay. <laughs> hey, Noah, would you mind holding this camera for me for a minute, bud? I'm going to hold the kangaroo. It's just like a baby. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I kind of want to see the uh, turtle. Well, hold on. You can film me for a minute, bud. I filmed you for the last 10 minutes. <laughs> What's in here? That's a 
thanks, man. Oh, look, she lets you off the hook, boy. <laughs> yeah, lucky. Wow. I mean, they're distant cousins of rodents, right? He says they're marsupials. Right, right. Well, I know they're marsupials, but like, are they? Do they have, like, I mean, any kind of relation whatsoever to um, rodent life, or is it just a, a completely different? Not even close, and then, huh? All, all mammals. You know, yeah, I guess they all come from something. Sure, sure. What is in here? They all want to Remember? <laughs> Because my, I was gonna say, the it didn't, didn't doesn't come across right in the face. They no. got those forward-facing eyes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd say, man, these guys as on the cuteness scale, these guys put deer to shame. Let me say, I see deer every day, and they're they're cool. No, they're 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 beautiful in their own right. But like this one's, to be fair, it's like a puppy kangaroo, right? He's pretty sweet. I mean, he follows you around like a puppy. Whenever he's ready for his bottle, like he'll follow you all around. Yeah. Kangaroo kisses. <laughs> Daddy, look how big that alligator snappy turtle is. Oh, it's that's a alligator. that's a beast right there. This is macadamia. He is one of our rescued uh, alligator snapping turtles, and he weighs almost a hundred pounds. He, that guy's only a hundred pounds. Nope. I mean, he looks heavier. Yeah, always. <laughs> feels that way sometimes too. Yeah. yeah. When I think of alligators, well, I guess, I guess I picked the ones that are bigger than that, and I'm just thinking of that moment. Oh yeah. <laughs> doing the lift. Well, I mean, the males can get up to about 200 pounds. And... They, they feel every pound of oh, yeah, absolutely. You see the owl? <laughs> owl what? They have some sharp teeth. Or oh, he didn't like you poking his face? It's trying to dig into my Gosh, finger. Too. Oh, uh, I have. Is he fast? No, yeah, not very fast. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't be able to get to you behind there very quickly. If you were in front of him, he'd be pretty quick, though. Yeah. Daddy, I want to show you. I think it's a baby alligator. Oh, I think I may have seen that if that's what it is. Mm -hmm. The same one. Yeah, the baby one. Oh, my gosh. You have to take this guy from me because <laughs> I'm going to get attached real quick. That's okay. You can come visit. You need to come up to our place. I do need to come up. I do need to come up. Oh, dude. I'm sorry. The goal was not to make all of you guys jealous today. That was really not the goal. But I feel like that. I feel like that's, that's maybe what happened. What are you guys looking for more? Can you guys say thank you again for them letting us help check Thank out those you. animals. You are welcome. Right, you're so welcome. It's good to see you guys. See the hedgehog. The hedgehog? Let's see the hedgehog. <laughs> okay. All right, so you anyway, guys, we're going to see one more animal, then we'll go check out the rest of the show, okay? <laughs> These guys are getting ready to head out. All right, deal? Yeah. Everybody? <laughs> Attention, children. Yes, deal. Yes. Deal. <laughs> A real hedgehog. This is Harvey. How's he not spiking you? How's he what? Oh, I work. have to work very hard with my hands. Brandy's a quite the work task driver, so she makes my hands get all calloused. <laughs> These guys are normally uh, active at nighttime. They're nocturnal, so he was just sleeping. So hopefully, thankfully, he's waking up for us. <laughs> is he going to spike you? Um, so their spikes aren't going to be like the porcupines, thankfully. Porcupines are rodents, and their spikes are meant to go right into you, and they break them off. These guys are meant to just kind of use those spikes for to get things like lions to go away. You know, a lion's going to come up and smell these guys, and they'll sit there and puff out. And if you were to smell something that poked your nose, would you want to eat it? No, you'd leave it alone. And that's what these guys do. Yeah, so they don't actually break off and it's spine and, and dig in like a porcupine. Either. Just kind no. of, it's like there's a little spiky hair. That... Yep. And when they're born, though, these spikes are nice and super soft, and they harden up after a couple hours. I got hours. the underside. Try. He probably doesn't like his underside touch that much. That's why he curls up a little ball. Ticklish. Protect it. Yeah. <laughs> that is adorable too. Oh man, you guys got all the yeah. cute stuff. 
am I doing working with reptiles? <laughs> Leave a comment down below. Why are we doing reptile stuff? We should be playing with these types of animals all the time. Mammals are hard. Mammals lots, are hard. That's the hard. answer. <laughs> lots of lots of work that, and time that we don't have. I got enough mammals on my hands. I think that's what, that's what it is. Thank you guys for tuning in, and big thank you, Danny and Brent. Danny and Brendel. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna put a link down in the description for their program that they go and do. It's it's amazing. I'm bummed that we missed the actual program, but um, I know these guys do great work. So go check them out. And uh, thank you guys so much for always yeah, being so kind and hospitable. You, uh, you guys have a great day. Take care. You also just made my.